Hi guys, welcome to Agrotonomy Tower Farms. Today I want to show you a variety of brassica vegetables that you can grow on the tower garden. Look at that beautiful broccoli. That is what I call a nice little broccoli. But as you can see, here are the roots and it could still get a little bit bigger. So we're going to leave it for a couple more weeks to let it finish its growth cycle. See here as well that we have cone cabbage and which is called Caraflex cabbage. And we also have another variety, which is a spherical cabbage known as uh, farrow cabbage. Right now it's springtime in uh, Spain and we have 18 degree temperatures in the daytime and 11 Celsius at nighttime. That's actually the perfect temperature for growing all these big brassicas on the tower garden. So we'll just put this one right back. Oh, wow. Just harvested some kohlrabi. This is a vegetable related to the cabbage family, the brassica cruciferous family. Grow them pretty quickly. Within six weeks, you already have the vegetable. So look, we'll take this one out here. Oh, wow. Look at the size of that. These are huge. In Northern Europe, they actually cook it, but we prefer to eat it raw in salad. Just peel off the skin and you eat it like, like a radish. It's like a sweet radish between an apple and a radish. We're gonna make a stir fry and a salad. Now we're gonna harvest some beautiful bok choy from the tower garden. Look at those nice healthy roots. All right, let's go make a stir fry with this. You can also grow arugula, which is part of the brassica cruciferous vegetable family. People don't realize that, but this one also is part of the cabbage family. Look at those roots, super happy, nice healthy arugula. All right, let's check out some other cruciferous vegetables. All right, also we have mustard greens, which is part of the brassica family. A delicious, yummy, leafy green to put into your salads, guaranteed to spice up the flavor in your salads. One of my favorite brassicas to eat. Here we have one of the better known brassica leafy greens. This is kale. Everyone knows kale. This is delicious in your smoothies and your salad. It's a nutritional powerhouse, guaranteed to jumpstart your day, make you feel amazing. This is a Siberian kale. It's a green variety. You can see the nice, healthy white roots. All right. You can see we have a purple variety of kale. These will grow really big and it's better to eat them when they're small like this better flavor, and just look at those roots and that color, purple, wow. Right here we have what's called Toscano kale. This is a kale that is typically eaten in, in Italy, and we just love to cut leaves every morning and put it in our smoothies. Highly nutritious, it grows pro prolifically on the tower garden, and you'll just get abundant amounts of leaves of this. And it usually will grow into a big stalk like this, so that's why we try to harvest it when it's younger. The leaves are sweeter, not as strong in flavor, but uh, wow, absolutely delicious. It's called Romanesco broccoli. It's actually a variety of broccoli that creates this really cool geometrical pattern. And yeah, so you can grow broccoli, cabbages, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, you can grow all the big brassicas and uh, cruciferous vegetables on a tower garden. This one, we're going to let it get a little bit bigger. It's not quite ready yet. 